Hey guys, so we need to understand what a dot product is in order to proceed with our principle of continuity equation. And if you forgot what it is or a little rusty, let this video be a little refresher on the dot products. So dot product is a product between two vectors and it's denoted by a dot between those vectors. Let's say we have a vector A and a vector B random vectors in the 2D plane, then the dot product will be A dot B. Now what is it equal to? Well, mathematics tells us that the dot product of two vectors is equal to the magnitude of the first vector multiplied by the magnitude of the second vector. Remember there is no dot here, it's just a multiplication of two numbers multiplied by the cosine of the angle between those two vectors. So if we have these two vectors in some space, we need to find an angle between them. And in order to do that, we just move vector B to start at the same point as vector A and define the angle between these two vectors. So let's say the magnitude of vector A is equal to 5 the magnitude of vector B is equal to 4, and the angle between them is 30 degrees. Then the dot product will give us 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees, which will be 20 multiplied by square root of 3 over 2, which will be 20 multiplied by 0.866, which is equal to 17.3. And you see, the dot product is just a number. But a number. So the dot product of two vectors is a scalar. It's not a vector. This is the first property of the dot product. Now, in our case of the principle of continuity, we had a little bit of a different situation. 